everyone, how's it going? This is Duane and Zyra here, back at you again with another video. And I'm so happy to be back here. Um, as always, I want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing to the channel, for listening to the videos, watching the videos, sharing the videos. I totally appreciate you all. And um, with all that said, we're going to jump right into it. And this is going to be a video titled, What is Discernment? Okay, now, <laughs> Holy Spirit has been working, me, working with me like all month on discernment. And I kept hearing that word, discernment. I don't know if I heard it before in the past when I was in the church, but this is a word that's very big when it comes to loving the Holy Spirit, loving God, loving um, being a child of the Most High. Discernment, discernment, discernment. And what discernment means to me is the ability to judge well, listening to the Holy Spirit, and also knowing if it's in God's will for you. Those are the three things things that we're going to touch on. I have some scripture that I'm going to pull up. But like I was saying, all month long, Holy Spirit just put something in my face and I had to make a decision. But remember my last video, God's will or God's, um, it's time to make a decision. I'll put, I'll put the card up there and you should watch that video. I didn't know what to do i didn't know which what decision to make because i felt like i made the right decision um it i don't want to get into it because it's kind of personal you know i'm very personal y'all i can't tell you all my business but um i was feeling a certain type of way about it and i didn't i wasn't sure about um a surrounding that I was in, let's say that. Nothing bad or anything. But um, I needed discernment. I had to ask the Lord for discernment. I, I need you to tell me what to do in this situation, Father. I don't know what decision to make. You guided me here, okay? And now that I'm here, things are not, you know how I thought they were going to be. And um, then I started, when I prayed that prayer and asked the Father to help me with this, then I started seeing videos about imposters and false prophets and um, things of that nature. So y'all kind of know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> it had to do with um, the whole spiritual sector or the... Christian church, let's say like that, okay, our quote unquote believers, they have all these titles, y'all, and y'all know I don't like titles, but anyway, I had um, befriend some people, let's say that, who were believers, <laughs> and then I'm starting to realize like, wait, hold on, they, they just not, mm -mm, no, they not who they say they are. So I needed discernment. I had to pray on discernment. And um, it wasn't easy, y'all. It was not easy. But finally, this week, I had a breakthrough. This week, I've been fasting. I'm on day five, liquids and vegetables, very small portions. And um, I didn't even know if I was going to make this video okay because <laughs> it's just something like I don't know if I'm in the right mind right now so Holy Spirit you got to talk through me so what is discernment I just had to put that out there just so y'all know what this is discernment like I said it's the ability to judge well is it in is it in God's will for you and it's listening to the Holy Spirit so I just told y'all I needed to judge. I needed to judge well on this decision that um, I found myself in. 
and I needed to know if it was in God's will. And also I had to listen to the Holy Spirit. And that's what you have to do when it comes to discernment. Any of y'all out there who are lovers of the Lord, lovers of the Father, you're in your word, you're meditating on your word day and night, and that's, you know, you're praying on it, and you're not leaning on your own understanding, you know what I'm saying? This is a video that's for you. And even if you're not, this should still be a video for you if you're here looking at this now. Okay, so I am going to pull up Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. That's one of my favorite scriptures. That's, um, I just said it, trust in the Lord with all, with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. This is a NIV version. I probably said it a different way, but that's what it is. Y'all, when you really, truly, truly, truly love your father and you listen to his word, this is something that I have to have on everywhere, this scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. We cannot lean on our own understanding. When we're going through a difficult time and we don't know what to do, we've done everything. We've tried everything. Now's the time when you just have to stop and be like, okay, Father, I need you to help me. I'm not leaning on my own understanding right now. I, I can't. It, it's not working. I don't know what to do. And trust me, he will show you a sign. He will speak to you through other people. And you'll know what decision to make. Now, when we're caught up in the flesh, we'll just be like, well, you know what? I don't, I'm not listening to that. I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. And then most of us know when we're not obedient and we do what we want to do and don't listen to the father. We don't look, we don't listen to the signs. We don't hear the Holy Spirit speaking to us, having that right hearing. When we don't do these things, there's consequences and the consequences are not good. They're not good at all. Okay. I've been there, done that. And I don't want, mm -mm, no. No, I'm not messing with the father. I am not messing with the father. No way. I will not. I will not. I will not. <laughs> I have learned my lessons. I want to pull up another scripture, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. I'm going to make this real quick for y'all, okay? Philippians 4, chapter 6 states, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, Present your request to God or present your request to Yah, Yahshua, Yeshua. <laughs> okay. I know earlier on, I was like, I didn't want to say his name, but now the Holy Spirit is just like, just, just say it, just say it, just say it. Okay. Now I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable with saying his name, Yah, Yahshua. Okay. And don't be anxious about anything. Don't be so quick to make a quick decision. If you got a business decision, you know what I'm saying? Maybe um, you have a large, it's a business decision and you're going to invest a large amount of, of money. Don't be anxious. Always take it to the father. Do not be anxious about it, about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, present your request to Yah. Bring it to the Father. Bring it to the Lord before you make any decisions. I'm telling y'all, this is that season. This is that time when we cannot lean on our own understanding. Um, this fast has got me just having my my eyes just open to certain things that are going on not just in the the physical but in the spiritual all right we have to be careful we have to use discernment 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 <laughs> my next scripture is my favorite i have a few of them romans 12 verse 2 
Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. I like the King James. That was the NIV translation. I'm going to, I like the, I like the King James version. And be, and be not Conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about, yo. I love that one. That one is my favorite. Do not be conformed to this world, to their way of thinking. Renew your mind. Renew your subconscious mind. And um, prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, that perfect will of Yah, the perfect will of the Holy Spirit that's within you, that's guiding you. You feel me? Use discernment, y'all. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't listen to other people. They may not feel you where you're going right now. Oh, yeah, you back in your Bible. You reading your Bible. You studying your Bible now, and they may not like it. So what? Goodbye. Next, okay? Continue to study your word, y'all. <laughs> That's that fast. That's that fast. Continue to study your word, everyone, okay? Meditate day and night. There are three scriptures that I want to share with you that you should read before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning. is Psalms 91, Psalms 27, and Psalms 23, okay? These are powerful prayers. They're Psalms, they're in the book of Psalms, they're prayers, and these are powerful prayers that help you with spiritual warfare. It helps you with letting you know that the Lord is your shield. It's just awesome. I mean, I read these prayers every night before I go to bed. And um, they have helped me out tremendously, especially this month, like I said, where I had this decision that I had to make and the Lord just showed me through other people. He let me know what was up and um, everything is good. Everything is great. We're in 12 minutes right now. I'd like to think that this video has helped someone. If it helped just one person, that's all that matters to me. Discernment, discernment discernment? Is it in God's will? Having right judgment, being able to judge well, and listening to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our guide, okay? He guides us. Listen to him. He's speaking to you, whatever decision it is, whatever decision is, it doesn't matter. But listen, you got to listen and you got to look for those signs and you got to have that right hearing. You're going to start to hear things differently. You're going to start to see things differently. And I'm not talking about just plain old common sense. I mean, just that spiritual guidance that you're going to receive from the Holy Spirit. So with all that being said, y'all, I love y'all all so much. I got some more videos coming. And um, pray for me on this fast. Uh, this is day five. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is day five. I uh, don't know how long it's going to go for. I honestly don't. It started out as three. And then Holy Spirit was like, go for seven. And I'm just feeling in my spirit that I can just keep going even more. So I don't even know how long this fast is going to be for. But I love it. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling blessed. And I love y'all all so much. Take care. Have a good one. Many blessings.